I'd always had this idea in my head for a TV show about where the head of a large organization is killed. What's the power vacuum? Everything stops. And what becomes of the infrastructure? Until I find out who killed him. There was a tremendous scale and ambition to what Gareth wanted to do. So you knew that there was a possibility of doing something completely unique that I hadn't seen on television. We all gravitated to this idea of a saga, something that felt Shakespearean, felt bigger. When we know who it is, we'll destroy them. We wanted to really push the scale of it and visually create something visceral and push it as far as you could. We were incredibly fortunate to work with Joe Cole, who's a magnificent as Sean. <laughs> I'm really excited for people to meet Chopin. He plays Elliot. He's a rock star already in the making. <laughs>。第一次见面，我们没有任何线索，没有任何线索。什么可以做？核心故事是家庭。我的爸爸是最大的凶手在伦敦，他被杀了，我夺权，然后夺位，然后权力转换。The power shift changes when I'm in charge. My father was taken from us on the streets of London, and now London will deliver to us those that took him. Initially, he wants to live up to his father, and he wants to fill the void that he's left. And then with that comes a whole host of problems. We've got to find a peaceful solution to this. I'm not interested in peace. In the way that we gave Sean a cold opening and an introduction, we did the same with Elliot. <laughs> and we get to tell the story of the rise of this character who becomes more and more important to a family as the things that he learns on the street ends up helping Sean find out the mystery of who killed him once. Elliot's come in at a very low level, so he started by being a street grunt, and he's basically just taken an opportunity. But I've got orders to take you to Sean. So who would you rather talk to, me or him? So it's a combination of opportunity and putting himself in the right position that he's been able to present himself as a useful asset to the Wallace family. What was it? Six of them. Oh, eight. But I had a dart, so. There are secrets about him that we don't get to know, and the thrill of the show is getting to find out all of those things. Sean Wallace himself tasking me to find the guy who killed his father. Obviously, action is a big part of the show. The fight scenes are fantastic. You know, they're really magnificent. But there has to be more to it than that, and so I think what fundamentally became the linchpin for the show was it's about family, the Wallaces and the Dumanis. Marion, talk to your boy. I agree with Sean. Marion is married to Finn Wallace. And family is Marion's main drive, and keeping her family together, and revenging her family, and making sure they not only stay alive but they retain the power without hesitation. She was there from the conception of the business, which was with Ed. Ed Dumani is the right-hand man to Finn Wallace. He has built the Wallace Empire alongside Finn Wallace over the course of 30 years. He knows where all the bodies are buried. Alex Dumani, son of Ed Dumani, and is trying to keep everyone on side and keep everyone moving forward. Our strength lies in our unity. Sean is someone that he loves dearly, but that、like, he can see his acting erratically. You know, so he's driven to kind of like look after him, care for him, make sure he doesn't go too far. We don't have to torch the whole city to prove our strength. Action. We needed to create. This heightened genre verse that London would not be London as perhaps the viewer might know it, but it would be a place where a fable about rapacious capitalism could play out in a way that was very fun and fresh and inventive and surprising. So rather than other shows that show crime at a very low street level, we're going in to explore crime on the level of human trafficking, money laundering, arms dealing, importing and exporting drugs, and the suited men and women at the top of the table. What is bad for me is bad for you. It's very much inspired by a mixture of European cinema, Asian action movies, American blockbusters. And melded into something that also feels very British. Go! This was an opportunity to tell a story that could be a novel. It was a ten-hour film in a way. We were taking characters that are larger than life, taking a storyline that's larger than life. We're not trying to make a social commentary. That was never interesting to us. What was interesting to us was a world of cinema. We're born into a certain world. Some might think it's brutal. I say it's glorious.